but before we can create but before we can see clearly the Lord says to us wash yourselves clean spare me the sight of your busy wickedness of your wrongdoing and take farewell so that the dry land may appear learn how to do good protecting the orphan giving the widow redress so that the earth may produce grass for pasture and trees that bear fruit then come back says the Lord and make trial of me, so that there may be lights in the firmament of heaven to shine out over the world. The rich man asked the good master what he is to do to win eternal life. Let him listen to the good master, of whom he thinks is a man and no more, although it is because the master is God that he is good. Let him listen to the good master, who tells him, that if he wants to win eternal life, he must keep the commandments. He must rid himself of bitterness, of spite and mischief. He must not kill, or commit adultery, or steal, or tell lies against another. If he does this, the dry land will appear, and the harvest it bears, harvest it bears, will be the honour which a child owes it to its parents and the love which a man owes to his neighbour. All this, says the rich man, I have done. How then? Do all these thorns grow if the earth is fruitful? Go and root out the thick brambles of selfish greed. Sell what you have. Win a full harvest by giving to the poor, and the treasures you have shall be in heaven. Follow the Lord if you have a mind to be perfect. Be in the company of among, be in the company of those among whom God speaks his wisdom, God who knows what gifts to give to the day and which to the night, so that you too may know, and for you there may be lights in the firmament of heaven. But this cannot be unless you set your heart on heaven, and where your treasure house is, there your heart is too, as you have heard from the good master. But the rich man is dismayed. His barren earth and the briars grow up and smother the master's word. But you, who are the chosen race, weaklings in the ways of the world, who have forsaken all that was yours and followed the Lord, you must go where he leads and abash the strong. Go where he leads you welcome messengers, be light shining in the firmament, so that the skies may proclaim his glory. Divide the light of those who are perfect, but are not yet as the angels, from the darkness of those who are infants in God's nursery, but are not without hope. Shine over all the earth and let the day, radiant in the sunlight, utter the word of wisdom to the day. Let the night, gleaming in the light of the moon, impart the word of knowledge to the night. The moon and the stars shine by night, but the night does not darken them, for it is they that give it light in so far as it is able to receive it. It is as though when God said, Let there be luminaries in the sky, luminaries in the vault of the sky. All at once a sound came from heaven, like that of a strong wind blowing, and then appeared to them what seemed to be tongues of fire, which parted and came to rest on each of them, and they became lights in the firmament of heaven, possessed of the word of life. Go, then, for you are fires burning with holiness and glory, spread throughout the world, for you are the light of the world. You are not put away under a bushel measure, for Christ, in whom you have been loyal, has been raised to heaven, and he has raised you too on high. Spread throughout the world. Let all men know the light.